All right, dude, relative sizing is huge. The first one I wanna show you is percentage. Ah, this is a good one. You can say with 100%, that's legit CSS. But wait, 50% of what? Good question, Steve. Say we have a P tag. I'll give it a red background so you can see where it starts and where it ends. You should do that too. Actually get in that habit, I do that all the time. P tags by default are block level elements. I explain more about what that means here. So they take up the whole row. Their width is 100% of their parent. So by default, it's kind of like the P tag has an invisible rule that says width 100%. They kind of just adjust to their containing parent element. Now, what if I change the width to be 50%? What if I add that to my CSS? Boom. Look at that. Now it's half the size. But wait, again, half the size of what? In this case, the containing parent of our P tag is the body tag. I'll add a green border so you can see uh, where the body tag starts and where it ends. Again, good practice. When I resize the window, the body is getting smaller and bigger. But the width value of our P tag, uh, it's still, it's, it stays at 50%. So it's relative to the body because it's its parent. So when I resize the window, my P tag will automatically resize itself to be 50% of whatever the body is. This is a technique used in responsive web design. You probably have heard the term. It's extremely useful. It's not the end all be all. There are times where you don't want relative values, but if I use the absolute values for uh, width and height, my element might look great on one screen, typically larger screens, but be completely unusable in smaller devices. Is unusable a word? I think so. So it's safe to say relative values are mostly used uh, to support diff different screen sizes. I don't want you to worry about responsive web design yet. It's a whole course in and of itself, and I promise we'll get there. There are other very important relative units I wanna show you, EM and REM. They are absolutely essential in sizing, especially your text. REM and EM are so important, I'm gonna dedicate an entire video to them. So, see you there.